Good evening. It's a very late Facebook love today. I almost didn't do it and uh, it's kind of a rough day. And then some good things happened and I feel better. Um, so I was talking to some friends and one of them had not, uh, didn't know that I was doing this and uh, she was curious about what I'd been offering and, and the poem that, uh, the first piece that I wrote early on in our shelter time um, had been partially inspired by a conversation that she and I had in mid-March. Um, so I'm going to read Shelter in Place, which I shared very early on in this experience now um, so that she can hear it. Here you go, Kati. <clears throat> this piece is called Shelter in Place. And I wrote it on March 20th, after we'd been staying home for a few days and I was feeling uh, bereft. We tie on our shoes, hats pulled over ears to trek in the slanted morning light, pale gold as it is in this early springtime. I remark on the daffodil's height the yellow or lilac crocus and snowdrops rising from the ground cover block after block impervious to the contagion we avoid. Dogs and their solitary humans pass to wave and ask, how are you? A safe parkway distant. We smile, but it's less than we want to say. Midwestern polite, each soul we see shies from saying more. My husband wonders aloud, what will our life be like after? How will things change? Will they? This week passed like underwater running, effortful, heartbeatful, with little progress. I woke grateful for our warm, beautiful space for my man and my son, for our kindness, patient with each other, though we all hear the buzz, our worries like a mosquito we can't locate, whining in our ears, like a tsunami coming, but how large, how far inland should we run to stay safe? I was housebound twice, age 10, a year bracketed with walking pneumonia and chicken pox. How strange it was, my friends passing classwork at the screen door slamming, that odd man out feeling, missing school days of playground drama. Keeping social distance now as we must, we are bicycle wheel spokes holding apart spinning in sync as they do, never touching, striving at once, pedal, 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 to our shared destination on our rotating planet. Shelter in place. Something felt different this week. Um, it feels like we're in phase two of this first terrible wave. Um, I haven't heard the news today. I had to stay away because I was feeling so down. Um, but I did hear that yesterday we lost more Americans than we, uh, than we have so far, close to 3,000 souls. That's, that's a lot of people to disappear in one day. That's a lot of families and friend groups. I don't really know what to do with that kind of collective grief. And I feel like there are people trying to act like we're supposed to go back to normal right now. And yet so many people are still becoming ill. And not just in big cities, in small towns, in areas where the population is quite low. I mean, if, if 2,900 people died 
That's, the po that's more than the population of the town that my parents live in. It's, it's more than the high school I went to. Just all of them disappeared. It's not just a number. My friends that I was talking with tonight um, are sensitive artists as well as, as I am. And um, we talked about the collective trauma that we're experiencing and how missing our regular lives, missing the threads that connect us every day, the people you pass on the street that you talk to, the, the people at the grocery store, the library, your workout place, your place of work, school, all the things that hold communities together, it's, it's been rent asunder. And I've spoken before, but musicians, you know, we make music together and we can't be together. So I'm not really okay today. I'm okay right now, but um, I'm not really okay. None of this is okay. And we're gonna get through it and we're gonna keep stepping. But it's painful and we can't forget. So this is Facebook Love. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.